Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a try on swatch demo video for the new Makeup Forever Artist Rouge lipstick collection. I got this in the mail. And I was like, is this a joke? My PR package has a music video. Anyways, I opened it up and inside were six shades of the new collection, which consists of, I believe, 45. Yes, 45 shades. So I thought I would do a demo try on video of the shades that I got and let you know what I think of the formula and show you some of the colors and whatnot. If you guys want to see these lip swatches, then keep on watching. Okay, so when I open up the box, there's this little paper in here, a little insert, and it basically shows you the colors and how to find your best shades based on your skin tone, which I really appreciate because sometimes you put on a color and it just doesn't look right with your skin tone and you can't figure out why someone else is wearing it and it looks so good on them and they might be dark in your light or vice versa. For the point of this video, I'm going to try all of them on so you can see the colors and decide for yourself if you want to take the plunge and try these out. I just think that the colors are so fun and perfect for fall. So let's get into it. The one I'm wearing right now is C105, so you can see that one on. This is what it looks like. Such a pretty pinky nude, which you guys know is my jam. It's so pretty. The formula is so hydrating. It feels so nice and moist on the lips. It's very comfortable. It's very hydrating. I don't have any gloss on right now with it. This is just straight up lipstick and lip liner. And it's just such a great color. It works really great with a smoky eye, as you can see. But this is a shade that I would wear every single day, and I've already worn it a ton. I love it so much. I highly recommend this one. It says that it's great for medium skin tones, but there's also other nudes like it that they recommend for other skin tones. You can see this. I'd say I'm medium skin tone, and this color is Next up we have the C211. This is the universal shade. This is also a pinky toned shade. It's more of like a dusty rose pink. Actually, it comes out a little darker than that. I kind of like this. This is a little darker than I'm usually comfortable wearing. <laughs> it's not even that dark. Let me swatch this on my hand for you. And that is next to the Pinky Nude. So I like this shade. This is supposed to be the universal shade. I think it would look better with a lip liner, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what it looks like on with my skin tone. If regular pinky nudes are a little bit too light for you, then you might really like this color. If you're not quite a dark lip girl, maybe that like mid-tone, then I think you'll really like this. Next up, we have C502, which is this really pretty purplish grayish tone. This one is recommended for tan skin. Oops. Aww, and I just hit it against my mirror. This is fun. Like, I don't know. You would have to, this is like more of an editorial color. Or this could be fun for Halloween. If you're really into out there colors, maybe a uh, bear eye. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm gonna swatch this one on my hand too. 
It's really actually a fun look. I think I would try this with a lip liner and probably no eye makeup, maybe just some lashes and see how this looks. But it's really different and fun, and these for the formula is pretty consistent. It's hydrating, it's pretty opaque, feels comfortable. I like this. I mean, and again, this is meant for a darker skin tone than mine, so if you have, you know, tan, more tan skin, this actually might look a lot better on you than it looks on me. Okay, next up we have... C603, which is this really fun blue teal shade. This is a first for me. I have never worn blue lipstick. This is, says it's for light skin tones, so we'll see. Oh my god. So creamy. Can you see how creamy that is? Oh my god. So fun. I think I would wear this on like Halloween if I was a mermaid. It definitely needs a lip liner. I feel like it's bleeding out the side of my mouth. I don't know if that's lip color or because I keep wiping my mouth with a makeup wipe in between swatches, but this is a really fun color. And here's what it looks like on my hand. This one's a little bit more patchy than the others, but it's still pretty creamy, really hydrating, very comfortable. I mean, these are, they're all like this. That's just a little bit out there for me, I feel like. But for Halloween or for like something dress up, like this is kind of fun and maybe I'll incorporate this in my color series makeup tutorial somehow. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, next up is M401. This looks like it is going to be a true red. Okay, so this one is matte. Okay, so this shade is a matte shade. That must be what the M stands for. So let me read this, maybe I should read the card. Okay, so there is two finishes, the creams and the velvet mattes. So everything we've seen up to this point has been a cream and this is the only matte that I have. But there's a lot of other mattes in this collection, just not that I've seen. But I like this. This is such a good red. It is like the perfect red for my skin tone. This is supposed to be for tan skin tones. But I think it looks really good on me, don't you guys? I don't know, I'm really digging this. I can see myself wearing this around the holidays with a much less dramatic eye, of course. This smoky eye is throwing me off today, not gonna lie. This was a bad choice for a swatch video. Okay, so last and but not least is C506. This is a nice deep purple shade. I really like this color. This one is for dark skin tones. Yeah, I love this color. This is such a great shade for fall. And I actually don't hate it on my skin tone at all. Like this is a wearable, this is wearable. I feel like the purple and the blue, not so wearable, but the rest of the shades I feel like are really wearable. I love this formula. Like I love the velvet and I love the creams. They're so lightweight. They're just really nice. I don't know what the longevity is with all the other colors, but I have been wearing C105 very regularly and it stays on a long time. So I have to imagine that these also do. Yeah, I'm gonna wear this for fall for sure. Okay, I'm back in my comfort zone with my swatches and my nude lip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful to decide whether or not you want to go play around with this formula. I highly recommend it. I think that you should 
go and find a shade that really works for you. Maybe it's your favorite nude tone or your favorite red. And I definitely would recommend giving these a try. They're really good. This is currently right now my favorite lip color. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you guys here. I post new videos every week. Don't forget to subscribe to my social channels. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is at Glam Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.